if you use the google chrome and you want to know how to go incognito how can you change the language in google chrome you can disable the pop-up blockers to make your google chrome a default browser change the search engine clear the cache turn off the notification change the background or translate the web page then keep on watching because that's what we are discussing in this video google chrome hacks settings tips tricks and features so without any further ado let's get started so the first thing first how to go incognito the if you want to open a new window the method is simple just click these three vertical dots and uh, select the third option new incognito window and there uh, your browsing history will not be saved uh, and you can access the uh, private browsing or the incognito and you want to open a link in a incognito simply right click that link and you will get the same option open a link in incognito window and it will open in that uh, incognito window the indication would be that your uh, overall browser color would change to metallic gray so that's how you can go in cognito in google chrome to change the language of your chrome browser you need to access the setting by clicking these three vertical dots and then clicking settings in the settings you need to come down and click advanced and then you need to look for these languages and here the language right now is english and the secondary language has already been selected if you want to add any language you can just click that search for a language and you can do a check mark and then click add and if you want to uh, delete a language right click these three, three vertical dots in front of that language name and then click remove and that language will be removed uh, if you find difficulty in accessing the language towards the left side you will see these uh, shortcuts or links you can select the languages here and it will be uh, displayed uh, in front of you okay, the next uh, settings if you want to block the pop-ups within the google chrome again you need to go to the settings and within the settings you need to look for the privacy settings within the settings you need to click this advanced and then uh, search for this privacy settings within that privacy settings you need to click the site settings and within the site settings you need to look for this pop-up and redirect and here uh, by default all the pop-ups are blocked but if you want to allow the pop-ups you can make selections from here you can block them or you can allow them and if you want to make an exception you can add the uh, a site which you want to allow the pop-ups like in my case i have made the google mail or gmail i have allowed it to show the pop-ups similarly if you are you have already allowed the pop-ups for all the sites you can uh, add an exception to block a particular site by adding over here the site address so that's how you can uh, block, uh, block the pop-ups if you want to make a google chrome your default browser you will uh, need to first access the chrome settings uh, click the default browser towards the left side make it a default browser it will take you to the uh, options or settings within the google, uh, windows 10 and over here you can just select the chrome browser and your uh, default browser will be changed from the previous browser to the google chrome since the google chrome is owned by the google so the google remains the default search engine however if you want to change your uh, search engine of google chrome from google to any other search engine you need to again within the setting you need to click this search engine and then from the drop down menu you can select any of the uh, search engine you can also click this lower tab where you can manage the search engines you can add or you can delete a search engine you can add any other search engine by clicking it over here and then that search engine will be available in this drop down menu and you can select that so that's how you can change the search engine within the, within the google chrome so the next is uh, how to clear the cache or how to clear the browsing data you have to access the privacy and security within your uh, google chrome settings and then on the bottom you need to see this clear browsing data once you click that you will be given three options you can delete the browsing history you can delete the cookies and other sites and you can clear the cache images and files you select all the options which you want to select and then you can clear the data by pressing this clear data within the advanced tab there are additional options also like the passwords saved and autofills can also be cleared or deleted by selecting that right now we just want to clear the cache and uh, the browsing history so i'm just going to press the clear data and my all cache and browsing history will be deleted so next step is how to turn off the notifications within the chrome browser again uh, within the settings uh, click the privacy and security 
and within that click the site settings and within the site settings you need to look for the notifications click that and you will be uh, given are shown this screen here uh, by default our recommended option is ask before sending and then there are exceptions uh, like you can add the sites which want to block uh, not to send the notification and then there are exceptions of where the sites which you can allow you can add or delete from uh, here but if you just click this toggle switch to off all the notifications will be blocked so that's how you can block the notifications and add the exceptions uh, below okay next up is the change the background or change the theme of your chrome browser again within this chrome settings uh, click the appearance and within the appearance you will have this option of themes once you click that if it will open the chrome web store and where you will find a number of uh, themes or color schemes which you want to download and select that i have uh, clicked this uh, option of slate and i'm just going to add this to chrome as you can see that our overall theme or the background has been changed from the normal white to the color which i which was available in this theme of a slate now, now the last step is that how can you change uh, how can you translate a web page uh, within the google chrome i'm just going to open up bbc news arabic website once you open any site which is not uh, in a language which was your default chrome will automatically give you an option to translate that feature uh, and in that here you there is an option that you can always select to translate in arabic into your own language uh, but i'm just going to show you uh, that how to do that it just press the translate and it is going to take some time and then it will translate the whole page into the english so that's how you can change the translate a web page in the google chrome these were the different uh, google chrome settings tips tricks and hacks and features which thank you for watching this video if you like this video hit the like button share and subscribe